Well, the guys just packed up on the last night before they're here for the pour. We're actually going to have to take tomorrow off because it's supposed to rain pretty torrentially. But uh, as you can see, the, the whalers and the beams are all up, or the, the supports are all up. They've actually just went through and plumbed everything, which was a bit of a challenge, actually. You can imagine that on a curve, if you try to tweak one end in or out, it makes the opposite end of the curve want to do the opposite reaction. So it's a little complicated back and forth process, tweaking it and dialing it in. But combination of... Uh, of some nice rebar on the outside and some ratchet straps and uh, just gentle persuasion and pushing and tweaking and some time they got her dialed in so we'll see as you can see we're uh, we're all set up with the insulation as mentioned previously they got their chalk lines all scribed on the inside uh, for where they need to trowel to or to float off and uh, everything's looking pretty good so by the time you see another video here you should pretty much be looking at them with the pump truck uh, bringing in the concrete to actually do the wall pour. So no updates until uh, two days from now, basically, and then you should get uh, get another nice nice action sequence of a whole lot of concrete trucks coming and going. I'm going to try to see if I can set up some sort of time lapse to capture that. Um, otherwise, it's going to be a pretty long video because there will be a lot of concrete tricks back and forth. That's just another shot over here trying to show you the expanse that is the opening for the fireplace. Um, Width-wise, we're looking at about I'm guessing six feet and then vertically right now it's it's pretty tall but obviously the floor has to be poured up into it so um, the eventual opening I think will be something like 80 inches tall although for the fireplace that I was gonna put in there I only need 60 inches of clearance so I've got a little extra I might see if I can size another uh, bit of bit of height into the fireplace because it's a modular system so I have to look that up tonight and see if I can make that make that happen but as you can see above the fireplace we've got the round transition from the turret which is sort of in the center right now and as we pan left, you'll see the fireplace. And above that, it seamlessly meets on that corner to the right-hand side. Uh, it meets the radial transition or the radius that forms the rest of the house for the main living space, the upstairs bedrooms. So pretty excited. They sorted it out, got everything figured out. There is a lot of rebar and just forming complexity that's just building up that entire, entire opening right there. But uh, it should be basically bomb-proof when it's done. Super strong. Anyway, I'm really excited. Hope you guys stay tuned for the actual pour of the walls. And uh, yeah, stick with us.